My hope for the gallery is that it's like the artworks have escaped and got into the street to do their work, you know, to be annoying or funny or human, warm, irritating, like itching powder, but they're all free and vital and running around in the street and they're in a street near you. I, th I think I was both uh, interested and attracted to find out more and also a bit repelled by the theme. So as soon as I read that theme of straight white male, I, I sort of had a response already from some, a series of work that I'd been doing. And I had an idea in mind of doing a really simple one of a cowboy just saying, I don't know if I want to be a cowboy anymore. I hope the audience, um, when viewing my artwork, can see the vulnerability behind it and see themselves in the vulnerability. It's not just a piece that's based in guilt and fear and shame, it's also denouncing that fear and publicising such a private experience. So I hope people can see and relate to that vulnerability. I think words can be a catalyst for action. That's my aim with my work. I'm trying to spark either conversation or even better action. I've actually done Be Able Art for the Black Outdoor Art uh, project. This is an opportunity to have your art showcased in places where it might not have been showcased and to reach an audience you might not have reached otherwise. This is about creating discourse and points of connection. And with billboard art, there's a, a sense of experimentation, of playfulness, of interruption, of disruption, something unexpected, something unusual, a novelty. And I think that's so important because not only does it engage people in terms of discussing the themes of the work, but it also uh, communicates something about our environment. It shapes spaces in the way that we want to see the spaces. I think I want to normalise something that should already be normal. Um, menstruation is seen as a taboo kind of thing that you almost have shame about and it's behind closed doors. And I, I want to normalise that and open a conversation. So for me, my research into the theme of straight white male was very embedded in kind of queer culture and queer representation within Northern Ireland, within Belfast. Like it's a country still basically ruled by religion and um, growing up in any way outside of the norms of Catholicism, Protestantism, like it's difficult and it still is thinking about just kind of that history of kind of the erasure of queer culture within Ireland is important, it's important to unpack it and to look at it and revisit it because I do think it kind of just falls behind quite often. It is this kind of idea of queering the billboard and taking over this space and making it something that it isn't and it shouldn't be. Having the authorship to be able to take over a public space like that, I, I know a smirk is enough for me or two seconds of internal thought or why is that on a billboard is pretty much Pinnacle. The freedom of speech and cultural expression is uh, extremely important for me. No matter what culture it is, there should be space and freedom to tell who you are, what you like. There should be still an opportunity to be heard and to be accepted without judgment. I think this is really what the work was destined to be and what it was really meant to be shown as. My practice really varies depending on how I'm feeling and what it is I want to create because my work is very much based around my feminist beliefs and often around the female body. So the piece I've created for this theme is a digital text piece which reads your reputation precedes you. The straight white males have a bit of a reputation when we word it like that and I think it's a bit of a negative reputation. I think quite a lot of other people would agree with me, both straight white men and people from other demographics. I was thinking about how that can actually have a really negative impact on those people and how those preconceptions can be a bit damaging. I'm the only Japanese artist in Northern Ireland. And then uh, I started wondering like, how other people think about their own identity. And then I started this project, uh, asking uh, uh, people like, uh, how do you think about uh, their identity? From 2019 to now, I have been working on a series of vintage photographs that I found on antique markets. 
These photos gathered groups of men wearing formal suits and I decided to paint over their faces trying to break that tradition of how men should behave and stand in front of society. For me, art is a universal communication form, so it shouldn't be restricted by anyone or to anyone. I think the key goal for the gallery is to amplify access and visibility for new commissions, for emerging and established artists, but also to provoke and generate debate and public discussion around often very difficult questions. So it's an art project, it's a gallery that gives access to everybody, art really on your doorstep. I think that what's been produced by the 10 artists in this cohort is really interesting because you get an incredible diversity of view, a nuanced take on what straight white male means in the 21st century.